हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट ओवरव्यू ऑफ रैंडम वेरिएबल्स लेट अस फर्स्ट सी व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट वी सी व्हाट इज रैंडम वेरिएबल देन वी सी क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रैंडम वेरिएबल्स नेक्स्ट वी सी प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन एंड देन फाइनली वी सी क्यूमुलेटिव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन so let us proceed with this question what is random variable here we will see formal definition of random variable random variable is a variable that assigns a numerical value to each outcome of a random experiment let me explain this definition with the help of example consider an experiment of tossing three coins we know that when we toss three coins outputs will be all heads head head tell head tell head tell head 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 tell 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 head tell 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 head and all tells let us assign a random variable x which denotes the number of heads appears as we see there can be zero heads one head two heads or all three heads x will take values 0 1 2 and 3 now let us see another example let y be the random variable denoting the face value when a dice is thrown and we know when a dice is thrown the output could be any one of these 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 then y will take values 1 to 6 i hope guys you understood the definition of random variables now we will proceed for classification of random variables random variables are classified as discrete and continuous let us see definition of discrete random variable it is the variable that may assume only finite number of values or distinct values such a variable is called as discrete random variable whereas the variable that may assume infinite values or values in some interval or on the real line is called as continuous random variable for example number of heads appears when two coins are tossed is an example of a discrete random variable because in this case the random variable will take values 0 1 or 2 similarly the height or weight of the students are examples of continuous random variable because height of an average student may vary from 4 feet to 6 feet similarly weight of average students may vary from 60 to 80 kg so these variables height and weight may take any value in the range i said therefore they are continuous random variable now let us proceed for probability function we define probability function separately for discrete as well as continuous random variable first we see probability function for discrete random variable let x be the discrete random variable taking values x1 to xn then the function p of x is said to be probability function or probability density function or probability mass function if it satisfies following conditions the first condition is probability of x is equal to xi is greater than or is equal to 0 and this is true for all these xi's second condition is summation of probability of x is equal to xi is equal to 1 which means sum of probability of x at all its values is always equal to 1 now let us see probability function for continuous random variable let x be the continuous random variable taking values in the interval a comma b then the function f of x is said to be probability function or probability density function or probability mass function if it satisfies following two conditions first condition is f of x has to be greater than or is equal to 0 and second condition is integration of f of x dx over the limit minus infinity to infinity has to be equal to 1 if f of x satisfies these two condition we call f of x as probability function of a continuous random variable i hope guys you understood probability function now let us proceed for 
cumulative distribution function. Once again, we define cumulative distribution function for discrete as well as continuous random variable. First, we see CDF that is cumulative distribution function for discrete random variable x. Assume discrete random variable x takes values from x1 to xn. Then we say function capital F of x is cumulative distribution function of x if f of x is equal to xi is equal to summation of probability of x is equal to xj where j runs from 1 to i. This RHS is sum of all the probabilities of x at the values xj where j is less than or is equal to i. This is cumulative distribution function of a discrete random variable. On the similar lines, we define cumulative distribution function for continuous random variable x. We assume that the continuous random variable x takes values in the interval a comma b. Then the function capital F of x is said to be cumulative distribution function if f of x is equal to xi is equal to integral of f of x dx where x takes values from minus infinity to xi where this xi is same as this xi. And in this case, it is same as integral of f of x dx where x varies from a to xi because here lower limit is a. Next we see the relation between probability function and cumulative distribution function. The first relation says as f of x is equal to xi is equal to integral of f of x dx where x varies from minus infinity to infinity then f of x is same as derivative of capital F of x. And second relation says probability of x between a and b is same as cumulative distribution function f of b minus cumulative distribution function f of a. Guys, we are going to use this relation between probability function and cumulative distribution function as well as the definitions of PDF probability functions of discrete as well as continuous random variable, cumulative distribution functions of discrete and continuous random variables to solve examples in my next video. Very soon I will come up with my next video. Till then, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.